Hello my friends, welcome again. This is the part 2 to create Laravel admin panel with a SPATI permission table uh, package. And in this video I'm going to add the dark mode to our application. Here is the, our application and if we go to the register page, we have the card and the logo and I'm going to change the logo as well and add it uh, dark mode here. And if you go to the login page, yeah, we have this one and here we forgot to password. Okay, so if we go to the talentcss.com and search for the dark mode here and he explain how to add dark mode. So if we go to the Tailwind config.js and add the dark mode to media, now whenever dark mode is enabled in the user operating system, the dark class will take effect. For in my case, I'm going to add a dark mode with a manually, a toggle manually, and add this in the Tailwind config.js. So if I go to the PHP store now and uh, add the Tailwind config.js, zoom it, and add this here. And of course, we need to add the uh, turn on the npm run dev. Okay. And now we need to add as well uh, dark class dark in the HTML. I'll copy this and search for the quest a bleed and we need to add it here okay now uh, here when we go to the register page for example and go here to the register page register blade and this is goes with the laravel breeze package you can change everything here so here we have the logo and I'm going to change this with an image and the source is inside the asset images and a logo PNG in my case I'm going to add the class with uh, width 14 and 8 the same thing and around it okay and if we go here and refresh yeah now we have the logo here and of course now if we see here we have a quest layout of course and we have this out card uh, component is coming with a breeze package so if I search for the out card and here we have BG gray uh, 100 I'm going to change this when we have a dark mode enabled to BG gray 800 and here as well when we have the dark mode I'm going to add BG gray to 700 and if you go here and refresh now of course we have the dark mode but we lost not lost but we have the same uh, color in the labels and for that we need so we have x label we have a component and i'm going to search for that okay and here we have a text gray 700 but if we have a dark mode i'm going to change this to text uh, gray 200 maybe okay come here refresh and of course we have now the text 
I'm going to change this as well. So close this and scroll down. Here we have the tail gray 600 and then we have a dark mode. I'm going to add the text gray to 200 as well and when we have dark on hover I'm going to change text to gray 500 and the refresh again of course now when we hover it yeah we can change this as well but I, for me it's okay and I'm going to in the login page now so close this one and go to the login page sorry login blade okay and zoom it this I'm going to do the same thing here add the image with source in the asset image and logo png okay and i think now here we have a, the same thing we had before i'm going to change it when we have a dark motto text gray 200 or maybe 300 and dark hover text uh, gray 600 and go here and go to the login page and yeah I forget that a width here plus a width 14 and h 14 and around it refresh okay and we have this remember me but it's not seen so where is the remember me is here so if i add a dark text gray 300 here and now yeah we have this remember me and when we go to the forgot password we have this uh, message but it's not seen so if i go to the forgot password blade and of course I'm going to change the logo here with the uh, image source asset and image logo PNG and we have the class as well uh, class and width 14 and h 14 and around it okay and now we have this text gray 600 here i'm going to change this when we have a dark mode of text uh, gray 300 and I'll come here refresh and yeah here it is and of course now i'm going to add the in the github repository so here I am in the GitHub login as Laraveler and create new repository here and Laravel admin uh, panel example okay and create this one and now you can run this
Okay, git init and okay. After that, you can add the git add readme and uh, git add hold. Okay, and git commit uh, first commit, for example. Okay, uh, git branch to create the branch here, and we need a uh, git remote. And after that, just run the git push. So the origin main, and we are done. Clear this one and refresh. And here it is our application. Okay, and we are done now with this video. If you like, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next one. Thank you very much.